Jake, I am so thrilled and excited about your high school graduation. And I have so many fond memories of you, especially your sense of humor. You always made kindergarten so much fun. And my goal was for you to have fun and to come to school and learn, but want to come back every day and to love school. So, do you remember all the silly songs that we used to sing? I'm gonna sing one right now. Here we go. <laughs> kiss your brain, kiss your brain. It's something you can do. Kiss your brain, kiss your brain. When you feel proud of you, You've done something you've never done before. You're feeling good about it. You were saying, good job me. And you want to show. Kiss your brain. Kiss your brain. It's something you can do. Kiss your brain. Kiss your brain. When you feel proud of you. Okay. Enough of that. <laughs> now, do you remember the chants and cheers that we used to sing? They were all Dr. Jean's song. Thank gosh for her, because it made kindergarten and teaching so much fun. One of them was the Austin cheer. And I know you remember that. A-W-E-S-O-M-E, -E, you're awesome, awesome, totally. And I know I'm making a fool of myself, but that's what kindergarten teachers do. Anyway, I just want you to know I'm so proud of you, and I'm going to be thinking about you going to UNC, and every time FSU plays you, this is for you, this is for me, and I'll be thinking about you and cheering you on. Good luck with everything. Love you. Jake, congratulations on your graduation. I can hardly believe that We've come to this point, and I know your parents feel the same way. I decided to retire this year because I've gone through the last of the siblings, and it's a good year to retire too because your class was one of my favorite classes ever at Seabreeze. I will always remember the way you and Colby used to cut up and get silly, and I get on to you, but we sure did have a lot of fun. We did a lot of fun projects because we stayed together all day. And I'll never forget how your eyes would get really wide if your dad would get loud in his class and, and you'd say, that's okay guys, don't worry, he's just having fun. And he sure was having fun and we had a lot of fun together doing things with him too. I remember that your class especially, we got to go out and help in the garden a lot with Rockaway Gardens. Do you remember our picture was in the paper one time because we were so helpful to them? And it was just a very, very memorable year. Seabreeze was a very special place back then. And Jake, I hope you have very fond memories as I do. So I just want to wish you well. I hope that anything you're dreaming for the future will come true. And the next time you're in Jacksonville, come by and see me. I'd love to see you. Bye-bye. Congratulations. Hey, Jake. It's Miss Warriors from 8th grade math here. I cannot believe that you are graduating. It seems like just yesterday that you were in my class. I am so proud of you. I know you've worked so hard. Keep working hard. Reach for your dreams. And happy graduation day. Jake, you've just graduated high school. Congratulations. What's more, you've done so in the midst of a global pandemic, which I know made the whole process much more difficult. So I'm awarding you a very coveted second congratulations. Now, as you look toward the vast vista that is the future of Jake, just keep in mind, find a job that you do that's not just the job, not just the thing you do to pay rent. Your career is going to largely define you. It's going to be your noun. It's going to be thing you spend most of your time doing. Just make sure it's something that you enjoy or something that helps the world, something that you care about. Um, Regardless, I'm sure you're going to be fantastic. I am so glad you are on 8B. Um, I'm really glad to have uh, taught you, and I require 
that you take care and stay in touch. Hey, Jake, congratulations. Thanks for making it a great year. I was lucky enough to have you in two classes, which is awesome. So one of the things, remember when we talked about U.S. Grant Civil War, um, and a lot of times uh, Ulysses S. Grant was knocked down. So my little bit of words of wisdom would be that we're all knocked down. And the question is not that we're going to get knocked down because we will. What do you do? when you're knocked down? How do you respond to that? And Grant's a great example, and Lincoln too, of two people who, when they were knocked down, they responded by get tough, responding, and making positive gains from that, learning from it and moving forward. So congrats again, have a great one, and I'll see you at graduation. It was an honor to teach Jake in the second grade. He was a very good student and well-behaved. I do recall on one specific occasion, a small group of boys came back into the classroom in a flurry. Mr. Anderson, they all reported, Jake is stuck in the urinal. What, I replied? Yes, he's stuck. I get to the bathroom and there was Jake sitting inside a well, a wall-mounted urinal. He couldn't even move sitting there like he was sitting on his dad's recliner watching a game show. I didn't even ask for details, just had him hold on to my neck and gripped him under his arms and pulled. And I do mean pulled. I explained just how filthy a urinal is and that it is possibly one of the nastiest places he could have ever chosen to get comfortable. He understood.